good, everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have our brand new Elite Series 74 action figures in the house, and we are reviewing the first two in the set here today. We have AJ Styles and Finn Balor. Super excited for both of these figures. I think these are the two I'm the most excited about, given uh, what happened with some other figures. We'll get into that as we, you know, dive into these figures and review them, but both of these figures look phenomenal, pun intended, and they look excellent, man. I'm really excited for both. I've been hyped for this Finn Balor for a while. This AJ Styles looks great as well, and we're going to crack them both out. We're going to take them back, you know, through the through the freaking wheelhouse, and we are going to compare them to all of their other elites. We're going to take a closer look at them, and I think today I'm actually going to upload all three reviews. So you're going to get the AJ Styles and Finn Balor review, you're going to get the rest of the wave, and you're going to get the ranking of Elite Series 74 from worst to best after all the reviews are done. So shortly after, if you're watching this first, or if you're watching this as soon as it's posted, in like 20 minutes or so, the other review will be posted and then another 20 minutes or so the other one will be posted so you guys can watch all the reviews here today you can watch us rank them from worst to best and uh, we're going to run through the entire set all in one day if you guys would like to pick these figures up you can go over to ringside collectibles wrestlingfigures.com you can use the promo code mdtoys to save yourselves 10 percent there's a cyber monday sale i still think going on black friday deals tons of cheap action figures for your wwe figure collections go get in on that we've had a ton of support for the code this this time of year and it's been outstanding guys thank you guys so very much for all of those uses of the code but uh, let's go ahead and dive into these reviews guys they look so excellent again a huge shout out to ringside collectibles for making this review possible sending us these figures our way and we are going to dive deep into it and take a look at them so huge shout out to ringside guys but let's go ahead and dive in you guys can see the figures through the front viewing window on the side we have two serious expressions of aj and finn balor which is kind of interesting because they're both heels on uh, wwe television but on these figures they're both smiling but then on the side of the packaging, they're like, no, Brad, we're heel. Remember, we're heel. Spinning it around, guys, you have the same images on the back. You do get some bio reads. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. And then the rest of the figures in the wave, I think it's a pretty solid wave. On the other side, we do get some cool action figure shots right here. Both of these, I think, are from the Royal Rumble, I think. I think both of these guys wore these attires at the Royal Rumble this past year. I could be wrong about that. I Don't quote me on that, but I think that's true. But here is the rest of the packaging, guys. That pretty much does it for that. So now that we have covered these guys, let's go ahead and crack these hoes out of their packaging. So here is AJ Styles and Finn Balor out of their packaging, guys. Looking very excellent, I must say. They are looking excellent, and I was correct. On the back of the packaging, it does mention that these are from the 2019 Royal Rumble show. This is obviously when Finn Balor took on the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. Excellent football game. Excellent match. I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. And then, of course, uh, AJ Styles is from where he took on Daniel Bryan, and uh, that, that was a great match as well. So both of these guys had great matches matches with who they were taking on at that show. Obviously, the Royal Rumble, they always book great matches, or they try their best to, and you know, sometimes it doesn't live up to the hype, but I am hyped for both of these figures, I must say. Both great head scans, both great attires. Definitely my two I think I was most excited for in the set, so I wanted to do these first before we dive into the other figures. Um, playing around with them in the hand, you know, they're pretty solid. I do enjoy them, and we are going to get into all the specifics and things of that nature, but what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to run through AJ Styles accessories, and then take a closer look at AJ Styles and then we will run it back and take a closer look at Finn Balor's accessories and Finn Balor. Finn Balor being one of my favorite talents in the world. You guys know that, and I'm a big AJ Styles fan as well. So uh, I, this is definitely something that I'm marking out over. Both of these figures are fantastic, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into AJ Styles' accessories. So getting into AJ Styles' accessories, guys, he does come with two rubber accessories and then the interchangeable hands. Coming out of the packaging, he does come with his P1 gloves that are flat-handed, you guys know, to make the P1 logo when he crosses his hands. But then we also get the two rubber accessories. I do believe we got this exact. We may have gotten these exact accessories. I can't exactly remember, but we have seen this AJ Styles vest probably 652,000 times, I think. P1 logo on the back, no green details. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. I can't remember, but uh, we have seen this vest before. I'm pretty sure a lot of the times. I don't think they, you know, tooled it any differently or anything. No hood included with this one. And then we have the, there can be only one AJ Styles on the back. You get the AJ logo right 
right there. And I can't remember is if uh, if uh, with the Top Talents figure, the Top Talents 2019 figure, if it hooked in the back or on the sides. And I think the shirt may have been, it was either the exact same or it was a little bit differently. I cannot remember, but you also get the interchangeable mic holding hands with the green AJ logos and the green details going on. Really like these gloves a lot. I think they look fantastic, but you guys have seen this before, except we do get the green on the hands. On the Top Talents figure, he actually had white logos for the AJs, and I'm not sure if at the Royal Rumble he had green logos or not, but on this figure, they included green logos. But that's all you get for AJ Styles, guys. I mean, not much else unless you want to include his elbow pad, which I think AJ Styles, that doesn't really count as an accessory. That's a part of the attire, but that pretty much does it for AJ Styles accessories, guys. So let's move on to AJ Styles himself. So taking a closer look at AJ Styles, guys, we're going to get him right here, and we're going to take a little PNG comparison between AJ Styles and obviously himself. And you guys will see here, I mean, I think it looks pretty much just like him. I don't know if I like it more than his last head sculpt. I think that it's pretty similar. He's kind of like smirking slash kind of like, uh, I, I don't really know what to call that. It's kind of like an old man smile a little bit. I don't really know what to say, but uh, I'm glad that my forehead's not massive. Like, he doesn't look like he has a massive forehead. And, uh, you know, one thing you're going to notice right off the bat is where is the chest hair right here and the only thing that I can even think of is that Finn Balor's you know cloth jacket just hogged up all the budget for this set you know uh, Andrade's jacket as well probably hogged up the budget on this set you know uh, usually it's like ta t tattoo application and cloth goods are usually what uh, hog up a figure or hog up a series and you know what they can add into a series and it looks like uh, those two cloth jackets took up all of the uh, you know all of the work that we could get for uh, the chest hair. So that is something you will notice. You know, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, I would say that, you know, we definitely need it and I'll probably just pencil it in. It's actually pretty easy to add with pencil, so I'll probably just do that. But uh, let's go into the rest of the figure. We covered the head sculpt. It looks great. You get the lime green forearm band over here. You get the gloves, obviously right out of the packaging with the P1s on the palms. You get this beautiful looking attire. I love this attire. It's like the lime green or bolt yellow or green, whatever color you want to call it. It looks sick. It's basically the reverse of the Top Talents 2019 Elite AJ Styles. It's very vibrant, very saturated. P1 logos pop off of this thing with that white outline and the black logos really contrast really well up next to that green. One thing I will say is that the lower legs are not green or yellow, which is kind of weird. I don't know why they did that. Not a huge deal by any means. You know, I'm not going to, you know, freak out over it, but it is something to take note of. You know, it's something that is there and that is missing. So uh, that is definitely something you want to notice. It does have the closed knee pads. I think this is one of the first AJ Styles to come with the closed knee pads since like the Elite 51 figure. So that's pretty crazy. Or if the Elite, did the Elite 51 even come with knee pads? I can't even freaking remember to be honest with you. But uh, same kick pads as the Top Talents 2019. And that is pretty much it for the AJ Styles figure. It looks pretty good. I'm happy with it overall. Uh, you know, the chest hair is missing, but uh, that is just something that we have to take note of because it's obvious and it's blatant. And it kind of looks like his tattoos down here look a little bit smaller smaller and thinner than they were on previous figures. I could be on drugs about that, but that pretty much does it for our AJ Styles Elite Figure Review, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at some Elite AJ Styles Figure Comparisons. So taking a look at some Elite AJ Styles Figure Comparisons, guys, you will see the Top Talents 2019 AJ on the left, and obviously it does have a head swap with the Elite 51 AJ, so just kind of, you know, not pay attention to that. You can see how the chest hair does affect the figure, and you can kind of see what I'm talking about on the tattoos. It looks like this is a little bit thicker than this. I, I, again, I could be on drugs about that. It also seems that the wrist wraps are styled a little bit differently from the two figures. If you see there on the gloves, the gloves do have the lime green differences. And it does look like, you know, the uh, the difference in the head sculpts is pretty apparent. You know, it kind of looks like they're kind of similar, but they are clearly different when you look at them up next to each other. And I think... After looking at it, I think I like the new Elite 74 a little bit better. I think this one's a little bit better in my personal opinion. Please let me know down in the comment section below, though, what you guys think. Do you think the Elite 74 or the uh, new AJ Styles Finn Balor Elite 2-pack head sculpt or the Top Talents or the Elite 66 is better? Let me know down in the comment section below. I am glad they did give us a new head sculpt, though. It's always nice to see those new head sculpts. But that is it for our AJ Styles Elite figure comparisons, guys. Here's one more shot of the, you know, the flip-flop between the trunks there. But now that we've covered that, guys, let's dive into Finn Balor's accessories. 
So onto my boy Finn Balor's accessories, guys. Pretty exciting stuff right here. We finally get a cloth leather jacket or pleather or fabric good, whatever the hell you want to call it. We finally get a leather jacket for our Finn Balor figures, guys, and it's so nice. The quality is high tier. It either it even has the pop collar with the buttons on the side right here. On the back, it does include his newer BC logo that he rocked at the Rumble with the red logo on the back. It fits the figure fantastic. One thing I will say is if you're trying to take the jacket off of the figure, Please remove his choke slamming hands that he comes with out of the packaging. Remove those first, then slide the jacket off because if you do not, you will tear this jacket. I know from experience. I didn't tear mine, but I have torn other cloth goods or uh, stuff like that when removing sleeves with the hands still on it. So if you have interchangeable hands on these figures, definitely, since we know that Finn Balor's are obviously interchangeable, pop out those hands he comes out of the packaging with, slide off the jacket so you do not damage it because this is a very nice jacket and you do not want to it all up. Now it looks great. It poses with the figure very nicely. I am very excited to have this and uh, you know it doesn't come with really anything else. It comes with the open entrance hands that we have seen with Finn Balor multiple times in the past with his top talents figure so nothing too crazy there. I will say one thing I wish they would include since everybody else seems to get three pairs of interchangeable hands or a lot of different guys get three pairs of interchangeable hands. Give us two sweet hands by God. Give us two sweet hands with our Finn Balors. Not just that freaking AJ Styles and Finn Balor Elite 2 pack that makes it very difficult to get. I understand, I guess that's a you know an incentive of buying the Elite 2 pack, but uh, I think everybody would agree with me on saying that we need two sweet hands with every Finn Balor Elite that we get. I just think that that would be really nice, you know, to get it without the taped hands. I will plug that into the Finn Balor in a later segment so you guys can see what that looks like, but that is pretty much it for Finn Balor's accessories, guys. I mean, this jacket is freaking just badassery. Sick as hell, love it. So taking a closer look at Finn Balor, guys, we are going to dive into this head sculpt. We've actually seen it before with the AJ Styles Finn Balor Elite 2 pack from TLC, but I think it's a fantastic head sculpt. I really do like this smiley Finn head. I think it's great. It's kind of outdated now because he's heel and he's on NXT and everything, but nonetheless, I think this is going to fix up our figures perfect. I did put this figure on my Christmas wish list, so hopefully, you know, I'll get a couple more of those or one of those more for uh, Christmas and I can do some fix-ups and things of that nature on action figure surgery, but Going down into the torso, we obviously know it's going to come with the ripped torso because if it didn't, I'd have to cry myself to sleep at night. But it looks great. You get the white wrist tape. One thing I don't like that they do with Finn Balor figures is they always give them the choke slam hands. They always have, and I don't know why. Uh, it's actually very simple to switch. You know, you can switch it with Daniel Bryan. You can switch it with other guys that have interchangeable hands, so it's not that big of a deal because it's actually really simple to switch them out with, so that's actually nice. We do get the Universal Championship attire that he rocked against Brock Lesnar at the Royal Rumble, as we discussed before. You have the red trunks, the black and gold little trim on the sides, the new Balor Club logo, nothing on the butt cheeks. You do get the beautiful white kick pads with the designs on the back. I think he first wore these kick pads at uh, TakeOver London Blackpool if I'm not mistaken. You have the gold trim on there. Uh, the lower legs are also painted in white with the same uh, you know, decal application. You get the red knee pads with the gold going through and the uh, black on the back which are accurate. That's actually beautifully designed right there for the knee pads. And this is the first time Ever, I do believe that we have seen these exact kick pads molded in white. So, you know, uh, what I mean by that is that we've never had the Finn Balor mold with the little triangular designs on the kick pads in white before. I'm pretty sure that is a thing. I do believe this is the first time they've done that. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. But this is excellent, man. This figure looks great from head to toe. I'm very excited for this. I'm so glad that we got this, and uh, I'm excited for fix ups and stuff for the future for action figure surgery. But now that we've covered Finn Balor, guys, let's take a closer look at some Elite Finn Balor Elite Figure comparisons. So on to some Finn Balor Elite Figure comparisons, guys. You will see my Fix Up Ringside exclusive with the two-pack AJ Styles Finn Balor Elite TLC two-pack head sculpt on there. And uh, these look great up next to each other. I freaking love this, man. Just knocked over one, but that's okay. Uh, you guys can see the comparison right there. I did not paint the black on there. I just thought that, you know, it looked good with just the all-white. But that is excellent. I love this head sculpt. I think with the white kick pads on all these attires, it looks really, really good and I will say it just looks so great. Like the, the smiley head sculpt with all this uh, with the with the white kick pads and the other attires looks great. And then you add the two sweet hands. I mean, my God. Here is the SmackDown version uh, compared to the Raw version slash Universal Championship version. This head sculpt was made by my boy Rodney, RKO 1974. Uh, this custom was made by me, though uh, I did the rest. He just did the head sculpt and you guys can kind of just see the difference there in the attires. Very, very similar, obviously, when he got drafted over to SmackDown, but I'm still waiting on my 
Martel to give us a thick beard on the bottom with a faded hair. I don't know if we'll get it very soon. You know, I, I don't know how often or how long it'll be till we get that, but you guys can see on the back of the packaging right there, that is the head sculpt that I want. It's like a fade in the hair down into the beard fade as well and that is what this head sculpt was and Rodney knew that that's why he made that but what an excellent looking freaking figure man uh, up next to all of these and then we have sort of like an updated Finn Balor I guess you could say it's like a heel NXT one I guess with the all black with the black leather jacket I got off eBay but man just freaking Finn Balor man easily one of my favorite talents just such a beautiful specimen I mean just look at him but that pretty much does it for our Finn Balor elite figure comparisons but I think that pretty much does it for our two in one Elite Series 74 Finn Balor and AJ Styles review. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. Overall, highly recommended on both figures. I think the only thing that you could say that was wrong with either of these figures is that AJ Styles, you know, rubber accessories and he's missing his chest hair, which again, isn't a huge deal to me when you can just fill it in or get a decal or something. It's not, you know, the end of the world. Um, you know, it's not like a torso swap or something like that, even though I would, if I was making AJ Styles figures, if I were Mattel, I would totally switch his torso, but but, you know, that's, I mean, that's, we, we're way past that at this point. We're like 30 series beyond that. But overall, I love both of these. You guys can see here what the fin looks like with the too sweet hand, and it's it's too sweet. I mean, my God, it's it's perfection in a figure. Look at that right there. Uh, I, can, I can tell you without a doubt that this Finn Balor is going to probably be in the top 10 figures of the year, and I think I am going to make that video. So get ready for that video. I don't know when I'll post it. I don't know when I'll do that, but we are going to do the top 10 elite figures of the year, and uh, we will be doing that. If you would like to pick up either of these figures again, guys, or the rest of Elite Series 74, go get in on the Cyber Monday slash Black Friday sales going over on Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use that promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves an additional 10% to the already ridiculous ludicrous deals going on over there right now. Definitely go get in on all of that. I had a ton of fun reviewing both of these. Again, after this video is posted, if you guys are seeing this later in the day, or if you're watching it right when I just uploaded it, then uh, here in the next few minutes, if not already, the other figures are, are already posted up as reviews, and you guys can go check those out and check out us ranking Elite Series 74 from worst to best, so definitely get in on all of that, but I'm going to get the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name is Toys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.